hey guys you're welcome back to the channel thank you so much for coming back to watch this video and if you're new here you are also very much welcome my name is candy and i create content on hair diy videos like this one and i also create content on lifestyle so if you're looking for an avenue to grow your hair to have a stress-free natural hair journey then this is the channel for you i hope you get to subscribe and when you do please don't forget to click on that notification bell so that when i do post a video you get notified so today I'll be showing you how I made this fluffy delicious looking aloe vera butter but of course it's for your hair and it's so amazing your hair will absolutely love it so here are my ingredients starting with the aloe vera you guys know how much I preach about aloe vera on this channel aloe vera is a very great hair conditioner and it leaves your hair really feeling smooth and shiny so it's very essential I'll talk you through some of the ingredients as we go here's my shea butter I love 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 shea butter it's so moisturizing and it's really good for the hair as well so it's mango butter is very rich in vitamin A and vitamin E which are some essential nutrients for hair growth some virgin coconut oil some sweet almond oil some jojoba oil some avocado oil some castor oil so here's my collagen i drink my tea every day with this it's good for your nails your hair and your skin so i'm adding that as well and finally my fenugreek actually not finally my fenugreek as well and then finally my camellia green tea and then my measuring cups now that we have our ingredients let's make our butter so starting with my measuring cup i will be using one third of my shea butter my mango butter and my coconut oil and i'll be adding them to my bowl so that i can melt it so in case you're wondering how I use this butter, so I use this butter as my main moisturizer after I have done my wash routine or within the week when my hair is going dry, I just use this to revive the moisture and back in my hair and I'll be making a video showing you how I use this butter. So if you're interested in seeing that, um, please subscribe to the channel and then click on your notification bell so that when I do post it, you will be notified. So after I've added all my butter to my bowl, I will go ahead and melt it. So I am not doing the um, double boiler method, neither am I putting my butter in the microwave. So I'm just putting that um, above my hot water in another bowl and that way it will melt the butter gradually. So this there's no direct heat um, to my butter which is really good it will help um, retain its natural nutrient this process took me about half an hour but um, to me I think it's better because I'm retaining the natural nutrient and so I kept stirring it um, in the process just so that it will make the process faster and once my oil was completely my butter rather was completely melted I started adding all my oils so as for the oils I'll be adding one tablespoon but in the video here I'll be using half a tablespoon so you will see me adding two um, spoons of each oil in my in my butter so here is my sweet almond oil I'll be adding two of that which equals to one tablespoon So my powders, I'll be adding half a teaspoon. So I've added um, the biotin, the fenugreek, and the camellia powder. I've added half a teaspoon of each. So once I've added everything, I'll just mix, mix, mix together. And then the next stage is for me to actually whip the oil. Yes, I'm whipping the oil because if you do this before freezing your oil, it makes it really easy when your oil is now solidified. So I do this for about two minutes just to whip in some air into the oil before transferring it to my fridge. And I'll leave it in the fridge for about 45 minutes to an hour till it is almost completely um, solidified. 
Um, so while I'm doing that, um, I'll just go ahead and prep my aloe vera. So I have a video, so many videos actually, showing you how I extract my aloe vera gel from the plant. So I actually won't go into details, neither will I show the whole process. So it's just basically peeling the aloe vera leaf or the bark itself just to extract the um, gel inside. So once I have done that, I went ahead and I blended my um, aloe vera and then I sieve. I always say sieve your al um, aloe vera because if you don't, you always have particles. So this is the sieve um, aloe vera. Um, yeah, completely done. So this is my oil or now my butter. Um, you can see it's almost solidified completely, but it's not. This is the best way to get fluffy butter. So don't make it too hard. Don't leave it to be completely frozen. Once it's almost solid, so it's not runny. And at the same time, it's not very hard. That's when you take it out. So it's not time for us to start whipping our butter. So I started on a slow um, motion. And then as I go, I increase the speed of my hand mixer. And once it is halfway um, mixed, so the whole process of whipping this took me about less than five minutes. And this is because I already did the whipping, like a little bit of the whipping before I put it in the freezer. So this process didn't take time at all. Less than five minutes, it was ready. But halfway through, so about two minutes into it, I added my aloe vera juice. So at this point I will increase the speed and then whip properly so don't worry that it looks runny it will all come together and as I am whipping I am just using a spatula to just um, scoop the side of the bowl just to bring in the butter to the middle so that it's easy for me to whip completely or properly. So I gave it a good whip for about two minutes to three minutes and my butter was completely ready and it I know it still looks runny but then everything is going to come together. So after whipping it for about three minutes, this is what my butter looks like. So I decided to add some essential oils. I decided to add vitamin E because it will help with preserving it. And then I added some rosemary as well. And then I added some tea tree oil. So this the rosemary, it's really good for your hair as well. As for the tea tree oil, I like to put a little bit of mint to my hair product because they help stimulate the scalp. So the tea tree oil will be doing that. It will give it this um, minty kind of feeling which is good for scalp stimulation so i added about 20 to 30 drops of each and then i went ahead and i kept whipping So at this stage my butter is actually completely ready I just needed to whip it a little bit more so that it is fluffier you can see how creamy it looks and how fluffy it looks this is a very rich butter with all the ingredients in here be sure that your hair is going to really appreciate this if you use this at least twice a week your hair will you see a change in your hair your hair will thrive your hair will grow your hair will be healthy 
and um, yeah so now i'm just going to pour that into a piping bag so i'm transferring this into a ziplock this is because um, i didn't have a piping bag but this ziplock does it as well it's just easier for you to pipe this into your jar without it looking all messy this is really easy and straightforward so i'll just give a cut to the tip and this is my jar this is a 500 ml jar so this measurement um i have used in this video will make you 500 ml jar of butter so in case you're just wondering how much you should make um yeah so this was exactly the um size of a 500 ml jar so i'll just go and pipe everything in there and my butter is pretty much um ready ready to use so i hope you enjoyed this video so if you've watched till this stage please don't um, forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, please share this video as well and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye